As the lights went out, Ingram made the perfect getaway with the two racy Civic Type R's in hot pursuit. While the top three made their escape, there was frenetic action aplenty in their wake. Back at the front, Shedden was tap tap tapping the Toyota's rear bumper, but that was as close as the Scott got. Ingram wasn't to be denied a hugely popular maiden BTCC victory, crossing the line to rapturous applause. Both MG Racing RCIB insurance drivers had a fight back on their hands after setbacks off the line, with Sutton losing first spot to a fast-starting Ingram and Cook being demoted to fourth by Andrew Jordan's Pertec Racing Ford Focus. Sutton was next to make his move on lap eight as he'd made his way onto the bumper of Ingram's Avensis. A good drag down the pit straight saw the MG alongside and the move for the lead was complete at Cops. Cook seized his chance on lap 12 into Maggots and Beckett's and sealed it along the Wellington Strait. Or so he thought. It took contact at Brooklands to settle it. The MG man coming out on top to make it a 1-2 for the Triple Eight squad as things stood. The MG duo came home in formation with Tom Ingram in tow. Post-race, however, both were disqualified for a technical infringement due to their rear wings being outside of the allowed tolerance. This handed victory to Ingram. Strap yourself into the world's fastest straight jacket. We are good to go racing as the lights go red. Engine notes rise. How is Jeff Smith going to get off the line? Good is the answer. Colin Turkington makes contact with Matt Neal as he went for a gap that closed. I'd seen um, Smith run wide a couple of times and he's clearly slow on the apex there. I think at this point he knew he had a problem. Um, just wasn't quite sure what it was, whether it was a punch or whatever. Tom Ingram is going to win round one for 2017. Second will just go the way of Gordon Shedd and Adam Morgan. 0.167 of a second behind them. Emotional that mum. Ego racing, Colin Turkington not surprisingly is away. Rapidly so is Rob Collard. They get past Matt Neal. Which way does Ingram go? Which way does Collard go? What does Turkington do from fourth place? Here they come. Moffat is still just hanging on to the advantage. He defends the inside line. Ingram right up behind him. He leans on Collard. Through they go. Collard over the curb. Oh, now has Ingram got enough of an overlap here? I'm sure he will. That's such a good place to pass a, a heavy car. If they come out of the chicane, it is going to be a race win for Tom Ingram then. The checkered flag is waved. Tom Ingram wins round five of the British Touring Car Championship. And it's go! And a good start is made by Ant Wharton Eels. Oh, uh, Wharton Eels slowed up dramatically there. The final race of the weekend at Lock Hill. The checkered flag is waved for second over the line. It's shared and third is turkey to... The lights go out, it's blast off, Jack Goff gets a good start, but Tom Ingram is away well also. So are the Subarus, good start by Ash Sutton, the rear-wheel drive car, but it's going to be Tom Ingram who leads down towards Cops Corner. He's lost the steering. Yeah, so he's, he's down on, on, on the grass. the grass, he can't stop, absolutely impossible to stop. And who is it that collects him? Ah! Oh. Will Burns, is it? Yes, Burns. Will Burns. Will Burns, that was the other car. Red flag. Red flag is being shown, the race is being stopped. Light to go red, who is going to make the best start? Rob Austin gets away nicely, good start by Ollie Jackson. He tries to go to the outside of Aidan Moffat, levels with him and gets past as well. Good start by Matt Simpson as well on the run up towards Paddock. This, this was, was the move for beautiful move, that's the move that Bushel was trying to pull off on Aidan Moffat. Austin still leads. Ingram with that tight line we saw deployed in race one. He's now level with him as they come over the line. Austin tries to move across, but there's a Toyota there. And Ingram it is who leads across the line, but only just. Austin on the outside line tries to stand his ground. Can he cut back to the inside line? He's going to think about it. He's going to try to do it. But Ingram moves across and covers the line. Round three of the championship is won by Tom Ingram, who goes through victorious, a seventh career win. Good start by Kamish, not a great start by Brett Smith, a good start by Rob Collard, and Kamish leads the way. That's Cole, and he's through, and he's taken Ingram with him. Ingram's looking like he's going to get two for one. Just take a look at this as Smiley goes through on Kamish. Ingram's going to get him on the run up the hill, probably as well round the outside. Kamish knows he's wounded, he's probably going to let these two go. Ingram's charge, he gets a tighter line coming out of copy. Smiley moves across, Ingram is there, this is the move for the race lead. Two wheels skim the grass, Tom Ingram is on the inside line and he goes through Tom Ingram for Speedworks Motorsport. Chris Smiley takes his best ever in second place. And who is going to make the best start? All eyes on Ricky Collar, but again, he bogs down a little. The Fords get away nicely. Here comes Turkington. He's ahead of Morgan already on the run down towards Cox. Ingram's trying to fight his way through, dealing with Camish on the inside and Oliver. Is he going to get two in one? Looks like he will. Be three abreast here, and once again, he will probably get two cars in one. Chilton tries to fight back. There's contact. 
Ingram hangs on to it. Chilton's going to be in the back of him. Oh, so close here. Coming up to Luffield. Morgan fights back. Morgan up the curve on the inside line. And Chilton goes from second to fourth in two corners. Tom Ingram goes round the outside of Tordoff. He gives him racing room. He's got the inside line for Luffield. Ingram leads. Tom Ingram wins round 26 of the championship. He comes across the line to the delight of the family, to the delight of Speedworks in the garage. Good start is made by Jake Hill. Good start made by Rob Collard as well from the second row. But Tom Ingram leads them away down towards Redgate. Tom Ingram wins. Rob Collard is second. Third goes the way of Josh Cook. The second half of the season starts right here. Lights go red. Lights out. Blast off. Who makes the best start? Ingram gets away slightly better than Camish does. But Toyota Corolla comes across the line. Victorious. The Speedworks Motorsport Squad celebrates. And Tom Ingram wins by three seconds from Dan Camish. It's time to go racing. Jason Plato gets away very nicely indeed. Ingram slides across and almost gets up alongside Oliver. Not a great start by Smiley. Side by side into Woodcut. Tom Ingram has the ideal line, the shorter line, the tighter line. He's got the race lead just. They lead on each other. Let me back in, says Jason Plato. But Ingram is not going to be phased by that. Through he goes on the inside. Ingram is going to win race one at Silverstone. The Toyota Corolla across the line wins race one of three on the national circuit here. Round 26 of the Quickfit British Touring Car Championship underway. Good start by Ingram. Good start by Cook. He tries to move across to defend from Oliphant. Ingram leads the way. Plato dives up the inside for the race leader. The Scott dabs it off. Goes Ingram all sideways. Oliphant gets into Plato. Oliphant's going to come through and take over the lead of the race. And that could be a safety Absolutely. car. Absolutely. And if it's a safety car, they're going to lose temperature in their tyres because they're, they're going to get colder going round behind the safety car, which would then make a restart really difficult. Red flag is shown, the race is being stopped. They're still racing until they get to the flag. Look, Turkington making sure he stays ahead of Camish. Tom Ingram thinks that's his race win. We're racing, good getaway by Ingram. Good start by Turkington and by Sutton. Not a great start by Camish and it's Ingram who goes round the outside of him. Chilton's on the curb and on the grass on the inside of Allard, but it's the Toyota that leads the way. Checkered flag at the ready, round 13. Is it gonna be a first win of the year for Tom Ingram and the Toyota Corolla? Yes, it is. Tom Ingram wins at Fraxton. Lights out, blast off, a lot of wheel spin from the Hondas. Not a great start by Sutton. Adam Morgan tries to out drag him. Across the front of Sutton goes Matt Neal. Morgan around the outside, the Infinity gets blocked. Look at Camish, he's closing, closing. Who's got the best drive out of the chicane? The Toyota will cover off the inside line. Ingram leads, Camish chases. It's two out of two for Tom Ingram. Lights go red at Croft, race three of the day is underway. Good getaway by Chilton. They run down towards Clairvaux Corner. Up into second place goes Ingram then, through on the inside. Camish third and Matt Neal and Jake Hill get together and Stephen Jelly gets it wrong. Here's Ingram goes for the race lead, look at that, fantastic on the inside, wow! Big, big off there, that is Bobby Thompson. Dan Camish in the Dynamics Run, Honda Civic crawling all over the back of the Speedworks Toyota. Ingram, though, gets the car positioned absolutely dead right, but he comes across the line to take the chequered flag. Now the drivers look towards the lights, but the lights go out now. It is go. Bad start by Butcher. Ollie Jackson tries to jump around him. Good getaway by Tom Ingram to try to split the BMWs, but he can't do it as Jelly leads Oliphant down towards Riches for the first time. And into the back of Jelly goes Oliphant, Ingram dives to the outside line, he's got second, he goes for the race lead, but there's more contact, Oliphant goes around, there's drama there with Jackson involved in it, and for the race lead, Tom Ingram on the inside up towards Wilson goes through, Sutton tries to force the issue on the inside line, Shedden's right there as well, but it is Ingram then who goes by, the Hyundai hits the front, Jelly is on the attack again, looks for the inside line, but he can't do it. Hyundai sweeps through Forum, drops down now towards turn 12, up towards the timing line he will come and Tom Ingram is going to get accelerate and Hyundai first ever win in the British Touring Car Championship check and flag at the ready and round six of the series is won by Tom Ingram who is absolutely over the moon as he comes across the line round eight of the quick fit British Touring Car Championship is go good start made despite the weight by Oliphant good start this time by Dan Robottom who gets past Shedden and also getting up past him is Ash Sutton so Robottom this time does make a good start. Ingram to the outside, Shedden's been tapped into a slide. Can he hang on to it? He can, he's out wide, he's losing places, but he's not been collected. He's still at the races then, but Gordon Shedden drops down the order and Rick Parfitt spins in the background. More drama up at Druids. Ingram comes up to have a go at the Honda. He's gonna go through on the inside line. Yes, Ingram goes second. And is Ingram now up the inside? I 
I think he is going up to Druids. He goes oh. through on the inside line. Now, was that a push to pass? It certainly was an intentional contact, but contact there was. Ingram has benefited, he's taken over the lead. This is going to be a drag race for the liners. Look, here comes Sutton up on the inside line. Gets up alongside the BMW, gets his nose ahead of the BMW. Tom Ingram wins. Second place across the timing line goes to Ash Sutton by 38 thousandths of a second. Let's go red. Engine nodes rise, lights out, blast off, good start by Jelly. He outdrags Plato, who moves across straight away to cover off any challenge from Senna Proctor as they head down towards Duffer's Dip for the first time. Ingram is going to be fourth, Gordon Shedden fifth as they dive into the first corner. But it's Stephen Jelly who has hit the front, Colin Turkington is trying to make progress. And there, Ingram to the inside goes third. Plato scraps this to have in, and if the inside goes Ingram for second place, he's through. Elbows out as contact, Jason gets forced wide. Tom Ingram goes past, and Senna Proctor is going to make the move as well. As Ingram goes for the race lead, fantastic stuff. Dives up the inside of Stephen Jelly, and he's done it. Here comes Proctor for second place. Honours in round 15 go to Tom Ingram. Tom Ingram wins, Senna Proctor second, third is Stephen Jelly. Lost off and a good stop by Turkington, but a good getaway also by Jake Hill, who claims that inside line on the run down to Redgate. As Ingram dives up the inside of Sutton, look for third place, and he goes through, fantastic! Ingram's on the inside, Sutton is behind, they could both go through. This is fantastic racing, what a start to the year we're having. So Tom Ingram on the inside of Colin Turkington, down towards the chicane. He'll break later, Ingram's got the line, Ingram's got the lead, and look, suddenly it's six, it's seven for the lead, fantastic stuff. Tom Ingram is going to lead at the end of the lap. And what a way to start the new era of the British Touring Car Championship. Tom Ingram wins from Colin Turkington second and Jake Hill third. Lights go red, the lights will go out to release the cars. Now it is blast off, and we'll see who makes the best start with Adam Morgan's BMW, the first rear-wheel drive car on the grid, making a good start. Butcher comes up to the outside of Ingram on the run to Old Hall Corner. Tom Ingram's home die on the inside. Rory Butcher tries the outside line, but he can't find a way through. He gets run up the curb as they dive down. Tom Ingram then comes now out of Lodge Corner. He is going for his 21st, his 21st win, that is, within the British Touring Car Championship. It's a win for Tom Ingram at Alton Park as he crosses the line to win round 10 of the championship from Ash Sutton second. Lights go red. Round 11 of the Quick Fit British Touring Car Championship is go. Sutton makes a good start, so does Ingram, so does Turkington as the field accelerates down towards Old Hall. Sutton defence from Butcher, Ford ahead of Toyota, and then Rory commits to the inside line, still can't quite squeeze past. So the leader is Tom Ingram as they accelerate downhill for the first time. Check and flag at the end of round 11 of the championship, and it is a win for Tom Ingram, his second of the day and his third of the season, with Ash Sutton second and Colin Turkington in third place.